Welcome to Hacking Teacher. So in this video, we'll start a topic named as IP address hiding. So first of all, I will explain you what is IP and which is the identity which goes over the internet. So mainly our computer have two type of addresses. One is IP address and one is MAC address, as you already know. So the MAC address do not go beyond our router, but the IP address is the main identity of our computer which goes over the internet. So the point is when you'll be trying to do some kind of attacks over the internet, there will be a high possibility that you can get caught by the websites or the people on which you will be trying to perform some attacks. So we have to hide our IP first before you initiate any type of attack over the internet. So there are several techniques basically to hide our IP address. In this video, I'll be explaining you all of them. Then in next video, we'll start doing the practicals. So the first one is the proxy technique. As you can see in this picture, this is our computer and our IP address is pose 65.55.125.189. Our IP address, the public IP is always provided by our ISP, the internet service provider. So your ISP will provide you a IP, which I'll just in a second, I'll show you how to check that, that which is your IP address provided by your ISP. Now, if you go directly to the internet, you'll be taking your own IP to the web server, suppose to the Facebook, Gmail, or any website you're trying to browse, you're using your real IP address. But in the case of proxy, it will not be. As you can see now there is a cross mark. Now you're going to a proxy server first with your IP address. Suppose you're trying to access the Facebook web server. This is Facebook and it's in the United States. So what you will do is first we will initiate a request to a proxy server. Proxy server could be in any country. It could also be in the United States. It could also be in the United Kingdom, Malaysia, Singapore, anywhere. So first of a request is going to a proxy server, suppose in Singapore, which is, and then from proxy server, we will initiate a connection towards Facebook. So our IP address, our real IP gone to proxy server. And after that proxy server hided our own IP and used his own identity, which is 172.23.26.8 and initiated a connection towards Facebook. Now when Facebook will receive a request, Facebook will see that he is receiving a request from 172.23, which is a proxy server. Facebook do not know that behind proxy, who is using the internet and who is using his service. So it's also a good technique and we can find so much free proxy websites basically over the internet. So there is no hard bound to find some proxy sites. But the proxy also have some limitations, which I'll explain you in the next slide. The main limitation is the encryption or the security. Whatever you are doing, your ISP can see everything. Suppose you're trying to connect with proxy server and through proxy server, you're initiating attack over suppose any website like Facebook or anyone. But your ISP is seeing everything that you're using the internet service of your internet service provider and then you're trying to connect to proxy and then you're doing some crime beyond it. So your ISP can still see what you are doing. Maybe they'll say you something or not. That's not a question. But the point is that you are still detectable by some way. So the next one is the VPN technique. So what is a VPN? VPN is a virtual private network. VPN is also same like proxy. If I'll show you the old slide as well. VPN is also same like proxy, but the only difference is that all the communication will happen in a encrypted manner. That first of all, whatever you want to send to the proxy server, you'll first encrypt it. Suppose you want to initiate a Facebook request through proxy. You will first convert your request into an unreadable form. Basically you will initiate a tunnel like a pipeline towards the proxy server. And as you can see, if you have an iron pipe 
and which is going from one home to another home nobody can see that what you are trying to move from that pipe is it water is it wine or whatever nobody knows and even the pipe is going in the front of everybody so that's what our computer will do our computer will initiate a private connection with the proxy server kind in kind of a tunnel which will go through the isp but isp will not be able to break that tunnel and isp will not be able to see what's happening what you are trying to communicate with the proxy server like everything would be encrypted unreadable it will flow to proxy server proxy server will decrypt it convert it into a readable and then perform whatever you have initiated a request so that same like vpn and corporate people hackers government people you everybody use vpn to access the internet securely so that in this way your isp is also not able to see what you are doing and to the end websites like facebook gmail skype whatever you want to use they will also not be able to track you that from which location you are using it so this is the one benefit of the vpn that it's more secure the second benefit is that you can use it on your main full computer or on your mobile phone or on your any device the proxy techniques are mainly we use it in the browser so whatever you're trying to open into your browser like mozilla firefox or chrome that is going through a proxy but suppose you have also installed some thick client applications like skype we do not open skype into browser there are ways to open it but we use skype as a software so it would be a bit tough for us to migrate the skype through the proxy server but if we just install a vpn software on our computer anything you will open either skype either browser either chrome either firefox whatsapp whatever you will open everything will go through the vpn automatically so vpn is more easy and more secure than a proxy technique the another one is the tor browser or tor technique in the tor one it's also like a vpn it's more secure like it also initiates a private tunnel that your isp would also not be able to see what you are trying to do along with that it will use a chain like first it's trying to connect with first proxy server then it will connect with the second proxy then third proxy and then it will let you connect with the internet so it's more more secure because now there are three people in between you and the end website it's making you more secure like the first proxy site or the first proxy server is in germany second one is in singapore third one is in london and then you are trying to open the facebook which is there in the united states and you are there in dubai suppose so it gives you more flexibility more power along with the vpn so next video we'll start our practicals i hope you enjoyed and uh, understood the concepts of the ip address hiding thank you for watching